What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. For today's video, we're going to be checking out the Transformers Rise of the Beasts Beast Mode Optimus Prime. And have Hasbro just gone ahead and dropped a massive spoiler ahead of the film's release? Honestly guys, I'm not too sure. We're going to get into that in just a second. But here we have the box art and this thing is enormous. You know, the packaging is way bigger than I was expecting. And in some ways, I think these Beast Mode figures are trying to be what the old 2009 leaders used to be in the sense that the figures are quite large and they do come with electronic lights and sounds and kind of an internal gimmick that is packed into the chest. So quite excited to check this one out. Here we have Optimus telling you guys to stand down. This Optimus does have a whopping three modes. So we get the regular robot mode, the beast mode, and the truck mode. Here for this side, we get another close up image of Optimus Prime with the back of the box giving us these amazing product renders. And would you look at that? Not only do we see beast mode Prime, but we see the return of that kind of beast hunters inspired truck mode, which we have already seen on a few other Rise of the Beast Prime figures. So is this again, Another indication that this could maybe be Prime's final look in the movie. I guess only time will tell, but this figure transforms in 22 steps and does have 15 sounds and phrases. So with all that being said, I'm very excited to check this one out. You know, the Beast Mode figures at the moment look to be some of the most interesting that we've seen from the movie line. So let's check out the Beast Mode Optimus Prime. And here we have him in his robot mode. Now, this is one of three modes that this figure possesses. And before we begin to delve into the figure, etc., I first of all want to say that anything I personally mention in regards to as to why Optimus looks like this is just mere speculation on my behalf. I mean, I don't even know if this is a look that we'll see in the movie. But, you know, if you were to look at the trailer and some of the set photos, Bumblebee has two forms. You know, there's the regular 1970 Camaro, which we saw in the original 2007 film. And then there's his off-road form with the roll cage and the ball bar. You know, it looks sick. So... I guess it would make sense for Optimus 2 to have a kind of off-road form in the movie and when you begin to take a look at some of the details of just the standard robot mode you can kind of see that coming through especially in the shoulders I mean to me at least this looks like there's a roll cage kind of surrounding this whole piece unfortunately it's unpainted but you can definitely see that here for the chest and you know this prime in general does just appear to be jacked I mean even in the robot mode there is some similarities between this design and how he looked in Beast Hunters and when you take into account that the vehicle is very similar to Beast Hunters, you know, I'm kind of thinking that maybe we will see him look like this in the film. But you know what? We're going to save the speculation for now. Let's just get stuck into the robot mode. So detail wise, it looks really cool, especially here from the front. I will say the biggest issue this figure sadly has is the lack of paint. I mean, there's no paint on the forearms, barely any for the shoulders, and unfortunately, literally nothing for the shins. I mean, a tiny bit of silver to spruce up those shins, honestly, I don't think would have gone amiss. And unfortunately, the figure does feel quite cheap. I mean, he looks awesome from the front, but as you turn him to the back unfortunately that has got to be some of the worst hollow head syndrome I've ever seen on a transformer I mean his head is quite literally a 2d cutout it's probably more cardboard than the actual cardboard standee that we've seen in some of the cinemas so yeah that's a shame I mean unfortunately it literally is just the front and there is no substance on the inside at all and when you lift these back pieces up again I mean look how hollow he is here for the back of the legs and this guy isn't too far off the studio series leader price point so yeah that does kind of suck now in terms of his articulation I will say that due to the gimmick he is heavily compromised so we do get a swivel you know which can look left to right and that is such an amazing looking face sculpt I mean check out the detail we have for the eyes and probably some of the biggest ball joints that I have ever seen on a Transformers figure I mean look at them they are massive but the shoulders can hinge out to the sides rotate forwards and backwards very sturdy we do get a bit of elbow rotation unfortunately nothing out of the wrist the waist the hips and to be fair nothing out of the knees either besides a tiny bit of swivel and it's all got to do with his beast mode gimmick which we're going to get stuck into in just a second but first up we have to talk about his weaponry and it is the 2007 Energon Blade which we did see in the latest teaser so we know at least this will be showing up in the film and really nicely done you know unfortunately not too much paint but been sculpted pretty decently and I do like how it's transparent yet very thick plastic it makes me wonder why they can't use this type of plastic on proper mainline studio series figures but you know what it doesn't look terrible now, when we talk about the gimmick of this guy, as I said, he does have three modes, and depending on what mode you have him in, the sounds and the lights will differ. So, for example, here for his robot mode, when you push this tiny little section here where the abs are... First up, we'll get a really cool badass transformation sound, and you'll see that the chest will kind of illuminate a nice red, but then if you push it again, we get a battle slashing sound... 
and then Autobots Unite, and that is indeed the voice of Peter Cullen. I was so surprised when I whacked this guy out the packaging because I just wasn't expecting them to get his voice on an actual Transformer. I mean, this is like the first time since the 2011 Ultima Optimus Prime, I think. So yeah, that's really cool. And as you guys can see, it does illuminate a blue. So there are two different LEDs. Autobots fold back. I'm not too sure how well it's coming across on camera, you know, I'm probably going to add an overlay, but the audio is very quiet in person, so I do wish the sound chip was a little better quality, but anyhow. Some of them do decide to repeat themselves. And then you get the classic, I am Optimus Prime. And to be honest, those are pretty much all of the main phrases that he has here in the regular robot mode. Let's get him maximized, I guess you could say, into his beast mode. So in order to get him into this form, you basically take the legs, pinch them together, and... Beast mode activated. How freaking cool is that? And you know, the way they got Peter Cullen in to say that phrase is awesome. I'm kind of hoping that maybe they nicked that from Paramount because he actually says it in the movie. But you know, maybe I'm just clutching at straws here. But yeah, there we basically have him in his beast mode. You know, the head of, I think, Leo Prime literally bursts through the chest alien style and we get these kind of Vector Prime shoulder panels. So yeah, they look really cool. Like the way that looks. And to further complete the beast mode, you can come here to the forearms and flip open these kind of lines claws which look really awesome very kind of wolverine inspired in my opinion so yeah that's kind of cool a very simple yet very effective gimmick is this something i think we're going to see in the movie honestly i'm not too sure and if we do i have no idea how they're going to make it look convincing because he quite literally has a lion head bursting out of his chest i mean what was wrong with the matrix of leadership that was just so classic looking but yeah do you know what does it look terrible and in terms of the additional phrases that we get this time round. We get the lion head seemingly roaring, although at least to me it sounds like it's burping. I'm sorry that I've said that and you guys probably never going to be able to unhear that again. But yeah, it's not a very ferocious lion roar and the head does pulsate red in the beast mode, which is kind of cool. And unfortunately, the eyes of the robot mode don't light up. You know, it would have been cool had they maybe cut a little piece out here for them to have also glowed up. But anyway, let's cycle through some of the additional ones. Beast mode activated. Beast mode activated. We get another kind of lion snarling. A nice battle slash. Beast mode, Beast mode activated again. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. And yeah, those are pretty much all of the phrases that he has in regards to both robot and beast mode. So a pretty decent amount. And you know, there are some there which make me super excited, such as the Autobots Unite and the Beast Mode Activated, because I am holding out hope that maybe they pinched that from the next trailer, etc. But yeah, that is Prime in his beast mode. And to kind of get him back to his factory default robot mode, you pinch the legs again, take this chest panel, which will then fold the lion head in, and then just let go and it will kind of clasp over the top of the middle of the chest. And then these panels here will flip over to the back. Again, very similar in my opinion to Vector Prime from the old Transformer Cybertron days. And yeah, there he is back in his robot mode. Of course, you can then flip the claws in, but pretty simple yet effective gimmick. But I do just wish in some ways, because it is just basically the hips which are used for the gimmick, that they could have maybe given us a knee joint and a bit of ankle pivot. I mean, come on, Hasbro, that would have been too much to ask for. But as I said previously, in terms of a robot mode, definitely does look pretty awesome. Now, as we jump into a few comparisons, here we have the Beast Mode Optimus Prime alongside that old 2009 slash 2011 Leader Class Optimus Prime. And I just thought this would be cool because if my memory serves me correctly, the old 2009 Leader Prime retailed for around £45, which is what this new Beast Mode Optimus now costs. So it's kind of crazy to see the evolution of what your money can buy for you now in 2023. And it also kind of sucks for newer collectors because they'll never be able to experience the awesomeness like us OGs could back in the day. But still, you know, in terms of scale, it's not terrible. He is roughly what you'd expect from an old 2010 leader class figure, which is pretty cool. But I guess it just makes way more sense to compare him alongside a new leader class figure, that being the Studio Series Scourge. So as you guys can see, these beast mode figures definitely ain't slacking in terms of scale. I mean, he is massive in comparison to Scourge. So if you just want a kind of cool Optimus Prime display piece to show off from the front, do you know, I don't think this beast mode Prime is going to be too bad, to be honest. And then for a few additional comparisons, we have him alongside the movie line Optimus Prime and Optimus Primal, Studio Series Voyager Class Cheetor and Battletrap, Deluxe Class Bumblebee and Air Razor, 
And then finally, the Smash Changes and Battle Changes Optimus Prime. And I've merely just brought these two in because they all share that kind of very similar Beast Hunters inspired truck mode. So come on Hasbro, surely it can't just be for the action figures. Please make this into reality and give us that amazing truck mode in live action because I'm going to be real with you guys. I already lost my mind when I saw the Michael Bay Energon Blades in the latest teaser. If I were to see that Transformers Prime truck, oh my goodness, my head would quite literally blow off my shoulders with excitement. So I believe that pretty much wraps up everything for Optimus in his robot mode. Let's jump into transformation, but you know, the child in me still wants to hit that button. So let's do it one more time. Autobots Unite. So freaking awesome. So happy they got Peter Cullen to voice this. But anyway, getting back to the review, flip here to the back of the figure, take these panels here and flip them over the shoulder because once you do that, it allows for enough clearance for us to take the head and bring it here all the way back until it does snap into place. We can then take the shoulders, hinge these out to the sides just to kind of get them out of the way. And to be honest, that looks kind of horrifying. It looks like Optimus has kind of snapped his neck and is like, help me Autobots. Maybe that's why he combines with a beast. I guess we we'll have to wait and see for the movie but then what you're going to want to do is take this panel just bring it over on both sides and then here just below the hip is a tiny little cut so you're just going to want to detach that and bring it all the way back until it clicks into place we can now take this piece detach it away from the leg and then once you reach to this point rotate here at this gray section basically flip it upside down and straighten this piece out just like this that will then allow us to take this section here bring it all the way around until it does click into place and then i'd recommend to take this section and just bring it around like this just to kind of get it out of the way so this guy does become very long kind of awkward to kind of showcase on camera so I will try my best for you guys so then again kind of break that hip joint lift this whole section here up take this panel bring this here to the back and rotate at this little gray hinge joint take this piece here flip this piece down until it does snap into place and then make sure this piece here is angled out to the side because what we're going to do is come here to the inside of the leg basically detach this little gray joint and then flip this here all the way around. So do the same here for this side. So just detach where kind of the knee is and then flip this piece here all the way around. And then personally, this is where I'd recommend to combine the two halves. So just slide this over the top and we can flip here to the front. So luckily things are slightly more manageable now. So as you guys can see, we have this massive metallic silver tab that's gonna lock into this big slot. So bring that around and just snap it in there. Once you've done that, this whole piece comes up and over and does click into place. Do the same here for this side. So snap this section here in, snap this piece in as well. And then what you're gonna wanna do is come here to the shoulders, rotate these pieces here around, and then take this panel, fold it out because we're gonna bring this here back. And this tiny little latch is just gonna sit on the underside of this piece. So can be a little tricky to do. To be honest, I think this is probably my least favorite part about the transformation. So just kind of hook that section in does take quite a bit of force to get it wedged in there and then this panel will just snap into the back like that what you can then do is take this panel and this huge slot is going to slide into that tab so bring this down snap that into place and as you guys would guess do the same here for this side so rotate the arm around bring this section here in making sure that it's all nice and lined up flip this panel here out take this hooked section and hook it on the underside, snap this piece into place, and then for some finishing touches, just make sure that shoulder piece is snapped into the arm, and then just make sure the legs have stayed combined, and bang, there we have Optimus Prime fully transformed up into his truck mode. And it's an insanely cool looking truck. I mean, I'm telling you guys, if this does make an appearance in the movie, they better have the paramedics on standby because I will most definitely be going into a cardiac arrest because I just loved the way Optimus Prime looked in Beast Hunters. But, you know, if you were to place your bets on a vehicle that Optimus would use in kind of that final battle which takes place in Peru, I'd put my bets on this one because I can quite literally imagine him rolling out with the Maximals, you know, charging into battle against the Terracons and maybe the Predacons and literally taking them out just in vehicle mode. But... Yeah, such a wickedly cool looking truck. We get the ball bar, which looks 10 times more aggressive with this vehicle than it does with the G1 cab and very nice details for the side. But again, much like the robot mode, you know, it does go completely unpainted. And unfortunately, these two wheels here are fake. It nearly is just the front and the back ones, which roll, which does feel kind of cheap, much like the hollow pieces that we had in the robot mode. And this is what the back of the figure looks like. So again, kind of sucks that they didn't take these knee pieces and kind of cover this whole piece up because it would have been such an easy and simple fix. It does just feel like 
like they cut quite a few corners with the quality of this guy, but this is what he looks like from this side, the top, and the underside. So, as I said previously, all three of the modes do have slightly different sound effects, and the same goes here for the truck mode. So, you push the exact same button that we saw previously. And we do get, I think, about three, maybe four different sound effects of the car kind of rolling out into battle, which just sounds so cool. You know, again, I'm so hoping that he does kind of charge into the movie with this vehicle, but... Yeah, as you guys can hear, you know, we get a revving engine sound, a few kind of skidding sounds, which sound pretty cool, and that pretty much wraps it up here for the vehicle mode. Now, in terms of weapon storage, you can take the old Energon blade and smack it here along the side of the vehicle, which, you know, isn't the worst thing in the world, but I definitely think there was a way to have integrated it here to the underside, or maybe stowed it away here in the massive cavity we have for the back. So, yeah, let's check out a few comparisons. So, just for old time's sake, here we have Beast Mode Optimus Prime alongside that 2009 leader Optimus Prime mold, and it's so crazy again to see the evolution between Optimus over the past couple of years, but even in vehicle mode, you know, despite there being, I'd say, roughly, what, like, now 15 years between the two releases, Beast Mode Prime is still a pretty big figure in comparison to the old 2009 release. Here he is alongside the movie line Rise of the Beast Voyager Optimus, and Beast Mode Optimus quite literally is a beast. I don't think there's going to be many figures from this movie line which is bigger than him because I mean check out this comparison Voyager Optimus looks puny in terms of scale because this is very big and you can see that even further here with the Smash Changes Optimus which is a pretty decently sized figure especially if you were to compare him to some of the contemporary leaders but these are based on the same vehicle mode which is again why I do think we're going to see this in some way shape or form in the movie but in terms of which one I prefer I mean personally I love the paint that we have here for the Smash Changes version had they painted the Beast Mode Prime the same as they did here with this one I mean there'd be no competition I would prefer this but even the back of the smash changes did conceal quite nicely so it's unfortunate that this one here is a little gappy but in terms of size I mean as you guys can see again there is no competition at all and then finally we have him alongside the tiny battle changes Optimus Prime just so you guys can see roughly how these pair next to each other and wrapping up on this review for the Beast Mode Optimus Prime. There are some things here which I think are super cool, and then other things which I definitely think could have been done a little better. I mean, for example, the concept of this guy is awesome. You know, to me, it really feels like they were trying to give us what the old leader class figures used to be in terms of scale and electronic lights and sounds, but overall, he does have a rather cheap feel to him. I mean, the fact that you cannot move the legs is terrible, because come on, we've seen electronic figures back in 2009. I mean, for example, that ROTF Optimus has something like three AAA batteries smacked in his chest, yet he can articulate better than some modern day deluxe figures, and not to mention is one of the most accurate versions of that prime design that we've ever seen. So I know this guy also has a gimmick, but he only takes like three button cell batteries, and I'm almost certain they could have at least, the very bare minimum, given us some knee articulation. So yeah, that does kind of suck, but I do like the way how you can transform him into the beast mode. Very simple, very effective. Is it something we're likely to see in the movie? Honestly, I don't know, and if we do see it in the film, I'll be really interested to see as to how they handle it, because it's such a bonkers concept to literally have the head of Leo Prime burst out of Prime's chest, but yeah, I mean, it's a cool looking figure in terms of bot mode, very cheap and hollow from the back, which is again why I think they kind of took a few short corners, but transformation, you know, is what you'd expect, I'd say, from a simple leader, maybe Voyager class figure, and the truck mode too looks really cool in some angles, but I'm not the biggest fan of the fake two wheels we have in the center, do wish that overall the figure was better painted, and I also wish they could have taken the those knee joints and you know just filled in the back of the truck because it's not too great having that massive hollow void but it's definitely a cool idea I do just wish with a little more budget you know maybe smack on an extra 10 pounds they maybe could have put together something a little more reminiscent of what we used to expect way back in ROTF slash Dark the Moon I'd love to get your thoughts down in the comment section below what do you guys think of this Beast Mode Optimus Prime and are you guys excited for the upcoming Beast Mode Bumblebee until my next video I'll see you then thanks for watching